The Indian Air Force has announced a project to deploy an integrated perimeter security system for 30 of its air bases across India. Indian Navy chief inaugurated one major pier and residential accommodations at the Kawa Naval Base. An Indian Coast Guard's pollution control vessel has made a port call in Brunei. A computer-generated model of Indian multi-role helicopter reveals its ability to carry a dual ATGM rack, pods containing 57mm and 80mm unguided rockets, and a nose-mounted 20mm cannon. German ambassador has said that the German government is fully backing negotiations with the Indian Navy for its Project 75 by tender. Germany will send its Eurofighter Typhoons and A400M transport aircraft to India for the upcoming exercise Tarang Shakti 2024. German Navy will send its Naval Task Force to visit Goa in October, for joint naval training with the Indian Navy warships. Under a contract signed for 1,300 armored light specialist vehicles, Mohindra has announced that it has delivered over 250 armado to the Indian Army in 2023. MKU Limited is set to unveil its Cavro ballistic helmets at the International Air and Space Fair in Santiago, Chile. India's S-5 class nuclear-powered attack submarines is nearing completion of design phase, and now the missile compartment appears to be far more streamlined into the hull, and experts believe this design shift might pave the way for the S-5 to accommodate at least 16 launch tubes, which indicates an increase in missile carrying capacity. These tubes will be equipped with MIRV K-5 submarine-launched ballistic missiles, which signifies a potential game-changer for India's naval deterrence. The Indian Air Force is gearing up to put its Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet in the international spotlight, and the Air Force will actively feature the Tejas Mark 1A in upcoming international air shows and air exercises, to demonstrate its advanced capabilities, and generate interest among foreign air forces. Aeronautical Development Agency and the National Aerospace Laboratories are collaborating to incorporate a new cost-effective manufacturing techniques for composite fin and rudder assemblies of Tejas Mark II. The key innovation lies in co-curing, a technique that allows simultaneous bonding of multiple composite layers during manufacturing, that reduces both weight and part count, and also improves structural efficiency. MBDA has announced the development of the MICA NG Next Generation Air-to-Air -air Missile, that will replace the legacy MICA missiles currently deployed by the Rafale and Mirage 2000 fighter jets. It features a new dual-pulse motor with increased range, and next-generation electronic countermeasures. Apart from Mirage 2000 and Rafale aircraft, India's Tejas Mark II equipped with powerful Utam Mark II radar, opens doors for integration of the MICA NG missile. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.